Hi, uh, I'm Jeff Thompson and I'll be teaching Faith, Theology and Doctrines this coming semester at Pilgrim Theological College. I look forward to meeting you whether that's face to face or online. I really enjoy teaching this unit. Like most introductory theological units, it's an opportunity for people often to be exposed for the very first time to the Christian intellectual and theological tradition. And as a teacher I enjoy seeing how this uh, shapes people's attitude towards the Christian faith. I, particularly in face-to-face -face contexts, I enjoy seeing the looks in people's eyes as new insights uh, open up to them. Sometimes those looks are looks of surprise and excitement, sometimes bewilderment, but most often it seems to me they are looks of inquiry. People begin to see that there are new possibilities in Christianity that perhaps they've never thought of before. This unit, uh, entitled Faith, Theology and Doctrines, um, focuses on those three uh, particular components of the title and the relationships between them. Often it's the case in introductory units in systematic theology or Christian doctrine, uh, people learn a set of discrete theological topics. And they go away with a little bit of information about topic X, Y, Z, etc. Now that's important and you'll see from the unit outline that looking at the great classical doctrines of the Christian faith is very much part of this unit. But I'm also interested in the framework in which we do that. And I want to address the question of how does Christian theology and how do Christian doctrines emerge from Christian faith? Why is it that we even do theology in the first place? And why is it important that we develop Christian doctrines? So we're going to be looking at those questions and the interrelationship between the different theological doctrines so that rather than at the end of the unit uh, then simply going away with a, a bit of information about topics X, Y and Z what I hope you will go away with is a sense of a theological imagination. I think it's, um, it's often the case in the study of systematic theology or the study of, of theology of any kind probably that uh, people think they're coming into uh, a, a, a discipline where they're going to be forced to become more liberal or more conservative. I actually find that a very, very uninteresting approach to Christian theology and I really don't want to have anything to do with it. What I am interested in is to see how the engagement with Christian theology develops your Christian imagination, allows you to see the world in a particular way, a Christian way, and engage some of the great uh, questions of meaning uh, from a Christian perspective and being instructed in that process by engaging with uh, the Christian theological tradition. So uh, I hope you uh, look forward to, I hope you're looking forward to this unit. Uh, I believe it's uh, a very interesting unit, raises some very deep and profound questions that I hope will keep you enthused and animated throughout the semester. Uh, you'll see already on the website that uh, there is a little bit of preparatory reading. There is a, a video clip of Professor Karen Kilby, a Catholic theologian from uh, England, talking about why one should study systematic theology and her answers to that question I think you'd find stimulating and even a little bit provocative. So please uh, have a look at that. I will be putting up some shorter readings over the next few days that I'd encourage you to read before we start and then next week there'll be uh, material for week one being uploaded. So as, as I said before I look forward uh, to meeting you, uh, whether that's face-to-face -face or online, and to engaging with you uh, throughout this coming semester. So thanks a lot.